Hi and welcome to another Elementor and CSS tutorial. In this video, we will learn how to create certain parts of your text appear in a different font than the rest of your text on one line or in one paragraph. Let's start with the text editor widget. I will type here my text. For example, I want this text to be fancy. Now switch over to the text tab and you need to wrap the part of the text that you want to appear differently in a different font using so-called span tags. So what we will do is that I will type here span. And then the next thing is that I want to apply a CSS class to this part of the text that I'm wrapping in span tags. And then I will style that CSS class in my CSS code. So let's type in class and my class will be called, let's say, fancy text. And then I need to only just close the span tags where I want this uh, change to finish. So click update. As you can see, nothing is applied right now because we haven't styled our class yet. So let's go to the CSS code. For this, I'm using custom CSS and JavaScript plugin called uh, simple custom CSS and JavaScript. You can find the link in the description. And in order to, and to edit this class, all we need to do is call out the class. So I will type dot and fancy text because that's the name of my class. And then I will say font family and I will use a script font called brush script MT for this. And click on update and let's see what happens. If I refresh my page, I will click on Ctrl Shift R. You can see that this applies uh, this styling to this text. Now, of course, you might want to also change the color or the font size, and you can do this very easily uh, using the styling of this class. So let's say I want this to be red and bigger. So I will use font size of, let's say 28 pixels, and I want to use the color red. Click update, refresh the page, and there you go. There is another way to do this, which is a little bit simpler so that you don't have to go back to your plugin and create and style the class. I will show it right now, although I strongly recommend sticking to this first uh, way that I just demonstrated, which is creating a class and then styling that class uh, in CSS using, for example, this plugin. The reason is that you can then reuse this class. You can have multiple parts of text that you can simply assign this span with the class, for example, fancy text. And then you can style this fancy text class from a single place. Let's say you have 20 words that you want to appear in this way. So you can just use the span tag for each of these words and style this class from one single place. You don't have to go and to apply those changes every single time for every piece of text. However, I will show you this second way as well, just in case that you would find it more convenient for what you're trying to do. So let's first delete uh, this piece of code because we won't be needing it. And I will go back to my text here in Elementor. So instead of assigning a class, I will directly style it here. So instead of class, let's say I will type in style. I don't need to use the uh, the class anymore but I will type in font family and this will be called brush script empty and then for example I want to use font size of 28 pixels or, or the color red and as you can see it applies the same effect click update refresh the page and you can see the result so that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video and you found it useful. If you have, please give a like, share or subscribe or leave a comment below.